Hi, I'm Marianne Rosson with the International Business Times UK and I'm here today to speak with Colin Angle, the CEO and founder of iRobot, about the future of robotics and smart appliances. Colin Angle is widely regarded to be the pioneer of the home robot market. His flagship Roomba consumer cleaning robots have so far sold over 10 million units worldwide. iRobot was a company founded 24 years ago to create practical robots. So uh, not just demonstrations that tickle our, our imagination, real products that can make a, a valuable difference in our lives, whether it be maintaining the home, helping doctors or soldiers with challenges that they face every day. So right now we have robots that defuse bombs and uh, work on the, uh, for uh, defense um, uh, industry. We have robots that are helping doctors connect with patients at a distance so that an expert can diagnose a patient uh, with a, an issue that uh, requires a specialist. Um, and of course, our most successful business area to date is in the home, uh, using uh, robots to help maintain your home from the Roomba robot floor vacuuming uh, robot, the scuba floor washing robot, and even a pool cleaner and a gutter cleaning robot. Certainly a passion uh, from a young age of building things and maybe I'm a little weird when like many when I saw the movie Star Wars I was I was inspired to go create robots, but probably what made it a little different, it wasn't R2-D2 or C-3PO that inspired me. It was a small toaster-sized robot on the Death Star. The rebels were coming in to uh, try to destroy it. The, the stormtroopers had to figure out how to go to the right turbo lasers to shoot down the rebel alliance. And this little robot called MSE-6 guided the stormtroopers to where they needed to go. And what was awesome was I saw it and I said, wait, we could build that. And so that attitude, we don't have to create an artificial human in order for robots to make a difference, uh, was an inspiration at a young age and, and still is an inspiration today in how iRobot approaches problems. In designing a robot, it's an incredibly challenging thing to do and can very rapidly become so expensive that you could never afford the solution. Uh, building a robot that has legs and, and, and walks around is a very expensive proposition. You have to balance uh, climbing stairs dynamically with your, with your legs is, is challenging. And so that for uh, nearly every application, of robotics other than entertainment, you wouldn't want your robot to have legs. A Johnny Five style uh, hybrid where you have arms, arms are very useful for picking up things, although maybe hands, the hands that we have are very expensive to build in real life. We might have manipulators look very differently, but reaching out, grabbing something uh, is a useful function. Having all of our sensors on a head-like thing that can turn around, turn, look up and down uh, is very important. It's also important because, as I said, many robots will have to interact with people and people like to look at faces. We're sort of designed that way and so that would make a head useful. But the whole leg concept, I, I think, is unlikely to be practical in the long run. Teleportation. Right? Who hasn't imagined, gee, if only I could teleport, that would be great. Um, unfortunately, you can't. But with robotics, you can almost do the, a equivalently cool thing. If I can build a physical body that you can dial into using you know, an iPad or, or a, a computer monitor system and control in a remote location, and I designed that robot so it can move around, so that it can navigate, so that uh, the audio and video experience that I can, you know, I can project my face to that robot in a very sophisticated fashion and the audio 
uh, that I get back in the video that I get back is so high definition that I can see as if I was there, well then I've created an actual avatar that can be me. The AVA 500 video collaboration robot was created in partnership with Cisco. The robot uses a Wi-Fi connection to enable video conferencing capabilities and users just have to decide where they want to go and the robot will navigate to the desired location without any need to drive it. We are focused on the average person who would love a little more help in their world and we have to create products that are affordable that actually do the work and it's not viewed as just oh cool isn't that a nice gadget it's I paid real money I'm getting a product which cleans my floor correctly and that's how the robot industry is going to move forward not by cool demos or not by creating products which are only affordable by those that don't need it but by trying to balance this cost value equation in a way that makes sense. Uh, so the Internet of Things could have very important consequences for robotics, uh, but we have to make sure we don't get caught up in the hype potential and instead say, okay, why is it connected? And you've got a good reason? Okay, let's connect it. If you don't have a good reason, well, let's spend the money on a bigger vacuum, more batteries, uh, or technology to make the cleaning system work better. And, uh, you know, we make those trade-offs every day because robotics can be extremely expensive very easily if you don't focus.